So, which is why knowledge has to come in gradation, with granularity. Knowledge is a pyramid. Knowledge is not a single uh, unitary entity. So the only way that knowledge can uh, achieve the maximum flow is if we try to allow every user to create content in its natural granularity. So think of it as a pyramid of several different gradations, different levels. And indeed, like you said, the smallest unit could be a tweet, a micro blog of 100 words, 144 words. In that regard, you capture a very small piece of information, although you can contain links to a much bigger piece of knowledge. But it by itself is a lot easier to construct, a lot easier to consume, a lot easier to feedback, all the way to no, maybe the entire user manual, which is 600 pages long, that you have to file into a document and a SharePoint or whatever, and everything else in between, right? So, so you want to provide an integrated set of tools for the users to choose that depending on the nature of that particular issue or knowledge, whether or not it has to be stored into some systems of record, such as... Uh, document management system or CRM system or ERP system or whatnot. Um, so there's a data element to that. Um, and then the flow element, meaning who has to be shared, uh, and what kind of a workflow, if it at all has to be involved in that same unstructured or ad hoc fashion, uh, or it just can be totally unstructured. So we need to train the user to develop that personal judgment, what is it that is most effective in a particular uh, piece of knowledge, a particular issue, and then let it flow, okay? Uh, but behind it, like I said, is important training about sharing is the extent or the scope of the share sharing, okay? You can share still on a one-to-one -one basis all the way to the entire network basis. So that I think is the answer. Is A is the pyramid of knowledge, the knowledge pyramid. And then within that, you choose the right uh, way to represent the knowledge and plug yourself into this grid where everyone is a participant in, actually it's a cube of a network. And you draw for each piece of knowledge the extent that it can be shared. So if you learn those two things, then it becomes a very effective, you know, network that way. So just to add to that, in our view, a network, effective knowledge network consists of all the people that participate in that network, all the knowledge or content that needs to be shared, and all the places or spaces whereby the sharing can happen. So it's those three things that together form this knowledge cube. And the more you put in, the more you get back, obviously.